Hello everyone, I'm Archie Bajaj from Wonder Crafts and in this video I'll show you some tips and tricks which will really be helpful while crafting. Some of these which I use all the time while some I have recently found out. So let's get started. We'll start with sharpening our scissors. Scissors, they are the key ingredient for uh, we crafters. Crafters where our no project is completed without scissors we need for cutting the stem of the flowers, cutting papers, cutting tissues, decoupage, napkins, etc. So what happens is when we use these scissors, the blades, they generally fade out. So to sharpen this, what, what I generally do is I take a sandpaper and rub it nicely. On both the sides. I generally use this in all my uh, you know whenever my scissors sharpness fades away, and I am good to go. So let's clean this area. So for our next one, yes, suppose you are almost out of paint and we don't like to waste because we know how much uh, money we are investing to buy these. So what to do is you just cut it from the bottom. Take how much paint you want to. And then you can put any clip and you can store it. The paint won't dry and you, you can use it later whenever you want. Okay, so this is a very interesting one. Suppose if you have to stop painting or you have to wait for one coat to dry so you can start the next coat. What to do is we generally forget to dip it in water or we don't want to waste it. So what to do is just take any bag, any plastic sheet, any Ziploc bag and you put your paintbrush inside this bag and close it nicely. It keeps the paint in the brush wet and the bristles soft and you, even you can use it after hours or 2-3 days will also do. Honestly, I really love this one because I get so involved in my project that I forget to dip it in water and I have like wasted a lot of my brushes. But with this technique, now I am able to, even if I like forget to dip it in water, I do this and I'm all good to go. So it's like how to store your ribbons. Generally, we have a lot of ribbons, we make scrapbooks, we make some frames. Uh, in all the projects, ribbons are used and we have like different colored ribbons and uh, it gets crumbled very badly. So how to store your ribbon? Just take any plastic sheet, cut from one side, put it inside the plastic sheet and the end should come out from here. And then put the whole ribbon inside it and lock the sheet. So what it is like, it will, it's so easy to use. You won't have any problems and it won't get entangled with other ribbons and it will be stored nicely. So suppose you don't have a palette knife, just a second guys, okay, this is a palette knife, many of you know, many of you don't know, so this is a palette knife with which we do the stenciling. Suppose you don't have a palette knife, so what will you do is, you take any card, any card, some visiting card or some, it should be a little thick, some wedding cards, it can be anything. And you just I 
and it's done. Can you see this? It has come out so beautifully. So it's not necessary that you should have a palette knife. One more thing, one important thing guys, whenever you do the stenciling or in painting, don't forget to wipe your stencils with a wet tissue paper. Why am I saying this? Because I have like, initially I didn't, never used uh, this tissue paper. I didn't have that idea. So I never used tissue paper. So what happened was my stencils used to get like dirty and it was very difficult to take out the paint or the texture paste, whatever I used in it. For example, this. Can you see this? See, all the texture paste are still on the stencils. It's very difficult to take it out later. Though it's said that wash it by wash it with the water and it will come out. But if it's like too dry, it's very difficult to take it out. And I'll suggest to use any baby wipes. That is my suggestion. Uh, the reason being that baby wipes, undoubtedly, they are like chemical free. So it won't spoil your stencils and your stencils will be chemical free throughout and it won't damage your stencils anyway. Okay, so this is also an interesting one. For this we need makeup remover, some yogurts, whatever base you are using and glue gun. So when we use glue gun, we are really fed up with the strings which we get, right? We really don't want to work because there are so many strings and we look so dirty. So what you do is, just take a little makeup remover, take a bit of any brand, you don't need some particular brand or some hi-fi brands in it. Take makeup remover of any brand, take your glue gun, apply it on its tip, tip of the glue gun and little bit on its side. And after applying the makeup remover, then start your work. So when you like apply it, you won't get that much string. I won't say that it is 100% effective, but yes, 70% of your problems will be solved. So for the last one, we need uh, ribbons and our hair straightener. So what happens is we don't keep it nicely so it gets crumbled or and we are then, then we are not able to use it properly. So what to do is just take your hair straight. Now in the same manner as you straighten your hair, just straighten the ribbon like this. And then you are all good to go. So that's all for today guys. I hope you like my video and if you did, just like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll be coming with more such videos and some tutorials soon. So yes, bye-bye. Take care, stay home, stay happy and happy crafting.